guys, welcome back to the channel today. What we're going to discuss is the bunker shot. This plagues a lot of people's games and also it creates a lot of errors. So what we're going to talk about today is a couple of simple tips that you can implement within your practice to offset your kind of bunker woes. So what we see in bunker play is a lot of people will not use enough loft to get the ball out. So tip number one before you kind of even hit the shot is look at the lie, select what club is obviously um, adequate for the shorter runs in conjunction with a lie. And what I want you to do is understand that if we use less loft, the ball's going to come out slightly lower. So take enough loft to get the ball out. So we see kind of a couple of commonalities for this shot. What happens is a lot of golfers will get the ball positioned too far back in their stance, so the ball's kind of off the right big toe, hands too far ahead. And what happens from there is the leading edge digs too much into the ground. And also the loft on the golf club is slightly reduced. So when you kind of set up that in that method, the ball's too far back, hands are too far ahead, the leading edge kind of <laughs> digs into the ground, kind of really closed almost in that action. Leading edge digs into the ground, but if the face is really closed, we're going to have to add loft at some point. So the more I go back with the club face closed, the more I'm going to have to push the handle out to the right just to try and create any sort of an increase in loft. So what one you do when you hit the shot is just trying to understand, right, okay, I need to move the ball pretty much a little bit further forward, but it's what we do during the backswing that's going to help us maintain a little bit more loft and also try and make it the easiest way possible to get the ball out. So what when you do when you set up to the golf ball, we're trying to get the club head to overtake the hand. So we don't want to drag the club forward where there's a big gap between the grip and the, the body. We want to also really release the right hand through the shot so the club head is getting to the golf ball before the hands do. So avoid this action where the, the grip's dragging forward. It's almost the feeling as you get into impact, the butt of the club is actually pointing back at your right hip. So not left hip, has to feel like it points back towards your right hip. So you're kind of releasing the club head. You're actually, the reason why the club's got bounce on it is to actually stop the club digging into the ground. So we want to release the club. We want to really feel like we're bouncing the club off the ground. Really feel like the butt of the club releases back towards your right hip. So, butt the club to your right hip on the way through, maintain the loft throughout the shot. So stand as wide as you can, so you're lowering the hands is actually going to add loft. But on the way back, what I want you to feel you're doing is you're really trying to add loft, so the face is actually opening as much as you can. So the more loft we add, the more speed we're going to have to integrate within our practice to obviously get the ball to go the sufficient distance. So they're going to go slightly forward, just open your left foot up, left knee, open the club face up as you come through impact. Your chest has to rotate towards the target and it's almost the feeling that your chest starts to gradually increase in height through the shot. That's going to allow our chest to extend a little bit and it's also going to allow us to create a little bit more speed in the club head. So don't drag the handle forward, it's almost the feeling that it's a race between the club head and the hands at impact and the club head has to get there before the hands do. You're trying to keep the loft on the club so the grooves are pointing towards the sky. That's going to help us maintain the loft, it's also going to prevent the club face closing. So kind of weaker left hand grip so slightly weaker left hand grip that's going to allow us to open the club face stand as wide as you can open the club face on the way back and then just let that's also having a weaker grip is going to help us release it a little bit earlier so it's going to release it's almost the feeling that both thumbs get to the ground as early as possible so both thumbs are pointing towards the ground before we actually get the club head to the golf ball in that position if my thumbs are pointing past the golf ball then we're going to drag the handle leading edge is going to dig in as we come through impact chest the target let the butt end of the club release towards your right hip on the way through almost in that position here's right hand right palm to the sky on the way through so let's put that in practice so butt the club back towards your right hip chest to the target just let the club release on the way through there there when you're faced with a bunk shot it's key to understand the lie if the ball's sitting above the sand or if it's sitting below the sand, what club is going to obviously be running in conjunction with that lie? So when you've got quite a lot of sand, stand as wide as you possibly can. Get your hands a little bit lower. Get the club face slightly open to get the hands lower. But it's really important to keep the speed up for this shot so we're not dragging the handle too much. Where well, you can see there, the kind of sand doesn't really travel. The sand's really heavy. So what you do, this is the only shot in golf where we don't hit the ball, we hit the sand. But it's really important to understand that the butt of the club, we don't drag the club forward. We almost feel like the butt of the club's working back towards my right hip. But obviously, what's going to happen, the butt of the club to the right hip, that's a feeling. And then chest to the target on the way through. But it's really key to keep that face nice and open. So keep the face nice and open. 
don't let it close because that's where the ball run low any questions regarding that video let me know how you play that shot any questions let me know and subscribe and like the video